All right, we're outside. We worked a little bit inside and got her rode a little bit. She's acting good out in there. So coming outside and gonna do a little prep work here with her. See if we can't move up the ladder of training here with her. Get some riding done outside. It's a pretty nice day out here today. It's a little windy, but other than that, it's a pretty nice day. There's no horses out here on this side. All I gotta worry about is uh, the studs in the barn nickering through the window at her as she's out here. And this first ride is not gonna be long or necessarily eventful, hopefully. It's just to get her started on the basis of coming out here and getting comfortable and getting going. And it'll be pretty much right here in this confined area. It's where I can control a little bit of her movement a little easier. And we'll just keep building on that as we go along. Perhaps we'll get down the driveway a little bit today, maybe not. But it's not gonna be a real long ride. Just enough to give me an idea of what I might expect out here. these horses will act just like the first ride. They'll be a little tentative and not quite sure what to do or they'll look around and stop and gawk at things and, and whatnot but you just kind of keep their attention and keep them focused and work your way through it. Keep them busy in the beginning and see what they're going to act like and and you kind of go from there. It's, she's not an overly spooky horse, so I don't expect her to really spook at a bunch of stuff here. But she's gonna be gawky and wondering where the rest of the horses were that were out here the other day. pick up the two reins right off the bat with her because sometimes she does have a tendency to get a little bit away with herself and, and needs to be picked up and figure things out a little better. Kind of like that. If she wants to get a little excited like that, well, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna completely shut that down, but we'll do some smaller controlled circles and ask her to come around and do different things to use that energy rather than allowing her just to charge off down, down the field. I think an hour and a half of loping around yesterday in the arena would have took some of the sap out of her, but Smear's got a motor. And you gotta kinda put that to use constructively.
Lots of things out here for to adjust to. Dogs and cars on the highway. And things in the yard. And Cindy's over there walking around with a bunch of flapping saddle blankets and stuff. And Being three years old and not having that extra year of exposure to different things is also going to play a part, you know, in her training out here. And I don't know from, you know, she's from the UP, which is a pretty rural area. I don't know how much exposure she's had to cars on the highway or stuff like that going on. So that's all stuff we have to program in. Lots of things to process out here today. Over on the clothesline, there's six horse blankets out there flapping around in the breeze, and dogs running out of places that she didn't really know were there, and people walking around, and 
garbage cans and arrow targets and burn piles and lots of stuff, lots of stuff for her to process. But overall, she's handling things pretty well. A little bit of excitement, a little bit of energy, but that's all right. Outside of dealing with a little more energy than I expected, and a little bit of attitude too, it was a pretty decent first ride for all the things, for all the things that she had to deal with out here today. So we're going to see if we can get her to settle down here so I can crawl off on a good note. We'll just ride her a little more energy. Talk to you tomorrow.